Um, can you guys hear me properly? Oh, I'm sorry, you froze. I don't know if you can hear me. That's a round of applause. Yeah. Congratulations, guys! We got this! Can you believe it? We did it! Congratulations! We did it! Woohoo! Mabruk, will the Imam daiman? Woohoo! I'm just gonna give you a thousand of them. Congratulations, class of 2021! We did it! Congratulations, class of 2021! Woohoo! Ali, how you Congratulations, class of 2021! We did it! <laughs> no! <laughs> Feeling too real. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's unreal. There's a new step and journey in store. Four years seem to be like yesterday, but time flies. I'm excited for the new chapter. A time to look back, a time to look forward, a time to be uh, excited, but also uh, hopefully to be hired. This past year definitely didn't look like how I expected it to be. COVID was. COVID is, is a pretty down situation, but I don't think I would have wanted to be any other place other than this campus when all of this was going on. And it was really hard seeing campus transform from this vibrant, flowing place of big dinners with friends and going out and seeing the city. I think the university made a very good effort to keep us safe on top of all things. I think online learning was definitely something that was very difficult for all of us. To that, I also want to say that I'm very grateful that throughout that time, I had a support system of, of my friends here at NYU Abu Dhabi. The class of 2021 are unique people. They motivate me to not only excel in my studies, but to excel in me being who I am. And that's something I, I honestly love about them. It was a very active and engaged community. We've kept together. We've grown together a lot. We've worked hard to stay together, to stay positive, um, uh, to try to see the light out of everything. I think there is always a positive angle that we can look at it through. I'm back on campus now after two years and I left pre-COVID. Just coming back to a community that feels the same after so much has changed, that that really speaks to um, how this community has adapted. In a lot of ways, there's a lot of things online learning has afforded us. Having online classes has opened us up to be able to take classes from other global sites. Sometimes I think back and I'm like, how did we used to do things a year ago? In these four years, you know, a lot has happened, um, even pre-pandemic. I didn't know it's possible to grow so much in such a short period of time. I feel like I've grown um, so much as a student academically. I, I think I grew by letting myself have some time for me. I think it, it helped me uh, reflect a lot about myself. Looking back at freshman year, Metha, I feel like I don't recognize her as much as I recognize the person that I am today. I've really started to question things much more fundamentally than I did four years ago. And I'm so grateful for this education. I'm actually a huge proponent of, of the liberal arts education. I love it. I think it's helped me do so many things here. The beauty of this liberal arts education, specifically in the context of NYUAD, is that you get to see how different topics interact with one another. I'm ex able to explore electronics. I'm ex able to explore uh, performing arts. I think I now think I know less about the world just because I've learned a lot more. I'm really grateful that NYU Abu Dhabi enables us as much as possible to, to see the world and to learn. We have all been very different experiences from an educational perspective and that like in Accra I was taking a class in development economics. In Athens we were looking at like the refugee crisis where I was learning a very specific thing that was unique to that context that I knew I wouldn't be getting anywhere else. If anything I gained a more beautiful image of the world. Talking about the NYU Abu Dhabi experience, like saying that it was just on campus or saying that it was just the four years, I think would be would literally be an understatement. It's something that I would take with me. It's part of my identity. I'm gonna miss the comfort of you know speaking to my closest friends about anything at any time. I'm actually able to get out of this door right now, and every single friend that I have, all my close friends, live exactly one minute away from me. 
Let's miss that. The main thing is the community, and that involves the amazing professors I've had, the the lovely AD and H staff that have kind of supported us, and public safety staff that has supported us through the four years. I mean, of course, I'll miss my friends, I'll miss the faculty, but I I'm definitely gonna miss the dining hall staff. And also Karak. I'm really going to miss Karak Jai. It's like very symbolic thing for us. I'll miss the familiarity of the memories that echo between the buildings. I'm really excited to see where everyone goes. I, people are going to do some amazing things in this world. I hope to pursue my graduate studies in like engineering. I'll be doing the Shrosman Scholarship Program, which is a one-year master's in global affairs in Shinguan University. It's still in the works, but hopefully I will be joining the Abu Dhabi Film Commission. I think I'll probably end up doing, um, you know, working in strategy for an aerospace firm here in Abu Dhabi. Um, and I'm really excited about that to, to get involved in, you know, some, some things going on in the International Space Station, like the, the model I have behind me here. I am doing a two-year-long fellowship with Teach for India. I will be working for a small consulting company in New York City called Capco. In the coming October, I will be attending Oxford University to undergo an MSc in Evidence-Based Social Intervention and Policy Evaluation as a UAE Rhodes Scholar, inshallah. We've gone through a lot of things, a lot of changes. I've seen how resilient we are, and we've come out at the end, I think, stronger than we were before. The fact that people chose to come here, even though they could have just stayed home with their families because they wanted to be with the rest of the class, is really endearing to me. We all together came forward through all this, and in the end, we, yeah, we won. I was thinking about like the range of faces um, of my class, and it just filled me with so much joy. I think that we'll always remember that 10th year was the one when we had like this big change. We all went through together as a community. We completely sort of drive what, it, what NYUAD is. The students are constantly striving to make it better and to sort of shape its experience for their class, but also for the classes in the future. Seeing where this school has come in 10 years is empowering. You realize what we believe can be better in the world. I see that Abu Dhabi will be forever enriched in its ability to welcome others and its ability to learn from other people. It was also supposed to be a time to celebrate our new Vice Chancellor, Marriott Westerman, and she came in at an impossibly difficult time. She's a very, very involved leader and she makes herself really available to the student body. I, I am you know, very grateful to His Highness Jeff Mohammed bin Zayed and John Saxton to just really dream of opening such an institution. When Emory Abu Dhabi was kind of proposed, it was an experiment, but I think it has become its own life form now. I'm sad that we all won't get to be in the same room during graduation, but the more I think about it now, we are all still together in spirit and in this shared experience of graduating. I'm so proud of us and I'm so grateful. I feel like we really came together as a community, especially in these last few months. Um, I love all of you. For the class of 21, just please don't forget what you learned at NYAD. Stay strong, always believe in yourself. I think we can all make a huge, huge difference a huge positive difference in the world. No pressure. It's gonna be okay. You've made me a better person. Congratulations, class of 2021. See, now this is what's happened. Now we're so much more comfortable in English that we often forget how to speak in our own language. Hongera Sana Darasala 2021. Graduate ki bohat mubarak. Elf mabruk. Aap sabko bohat bohat mubarak ho. Kanina tosbinak tikunang karabitavi. Mena kalungat tikunang nandavisi minimutak. 